Finally, another rule that God passed down so the Jews would have to play life on hard mode is known as the Sabbath year, or the Shemitah. Once every seven years, Jewish farmers are supposed to let their land rest for a year and not disturb the soil. So how do they eat that year well? The law states that they aren't allowed to work their own land it doesn't say anything about working someone else's land. So every seven years, most Israeli farmers transfer legal ownership of their farm to someone else. That someone else is actually one guy in particular. George Strachman, a 25-year-old telemarketer, is one of the few non-Jewish citizens of Israel. And once every seven years, George also temporarily becomes one of the biggest landowners on earth, with approximately $33 billion worth of Israeli land. A year later, he gives it all back, because there's one thing better than being a billionaire being a mensch. If you are both Catholic and a hardcore carnivore, then you probably dread Lent, the annual six-week tradition leading up to Easter during which you are not supposed to eat meat on Fridays. For them, the prospect of avoiding bacon for six entire days every year is too much to bear. They just want meat, and any kind of meat will do. Enter beavers. Via the Mediator.com appetizing in the 17th century, Catholic colonists in Northern America were suffering under the church's tyrannical rule which dictated that for a few days a year, they should consider eating a couple of fucking vegetables instead of shooting another buffalo. But according to official Catholic doctrine, fish does not count as meat, so some clever priests figured that all they needed to do was expand the definition of what a fish is. So the newly appointed Bishop of Quebec successfully lobbied his superiors in Rome to have beavers as well as other semi-aquatic mammals reclassified as fish for culinary purposes. Hell, by this metric, Michael Phelps is fair game, as long as you catch him in the water. This adjustment was so successful that the beavers are fish dogma survives to this day. In fact, the beaver meat trade is so lucrative during Lent that some restaurants have gotten in on the action. Brenton Brown, cooner of bootleg and BBQ in heavily Catholic St. Louis, put smoked beaver on his menu after realizing that business sharply declined during Lent. Their profits have since skyrocketed, though the same cannot be said for the beaver population. Other restaurants in Catholic neighborhoods around America have taken to including muskrat on their uh, fish menu, even though they reportedly taste less like halibut and more like a pile of fried assholes. Still better than tofu, though. Yusuf Stock was at the musk part or the rat part that screamed lunch as Peter Davis is the creator of the Three Minute Philosophy YouTube series and is the author of the book Occam's Nightmare. If you love this article and want more like it, please support our site with a visit to our contribution page. Also, check out Five Myths You Probably Believe About Major Religions and Five Insane Beliefs of the World's Major Religions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out why non-religious confessionals should be a thing, and watch other videos you won't see on the site follow our new Picked Effects Facebook page, and we'll follow you everywhere. Get intimate with our new podcast Cracked Gets Personal. Subscribe for fascinating episodes like murdered sex dolls and porn suitcases what garbage men see, and I was a sex slave in the modern US, available wherever you get your podcasts.